Hello everyone, my name is Sang Yeon Lee, CEO of BCN Inc. Today, I would like to discuss about SSD versus HDD, dollar per gigabyte, the market price comparison. This video tutorial is an addendum to my previous video tutorial, SSD versus HDD, the final round. If you missed the video, please check the video first. Last time, I discussed about dollar per gigabyte of SSD between year 2012 to year 2019. Trend Force predicts that the price gap between SSD and HDD in 2016 would be four times. I verified the price gap at Amazon.com. However, I found an interesting observation. The price gap between SSD and HDD is much different depending on memory capacity. Therefore, it would be interesting to discuss about the difference. There is another one that I would like to discuss about. People are talking about when price parity between SSD and HDD will happen. Some say that NAND price goes down quickly so price parity will happen soon. The other says that there are still big price gap between SSD and HDD. So price parity will never happen. So it will be interesting to discuss about this matter too, based on the market price. My answer to the price parity is yes and no. Let me explain the reason why in this video tutorial. Here is method of market price comparison. Prices are checked at Amazon.com among Western digital products. Five products are chosen at each memory size to compare prices among popular and high customer review rate. Okay, here is dollar per gigabyte comparison based on memory capacity. Y axis shows dollar per gigabyte and X axis shows memory capacity. 250 gigabyte, 500 gigabyte, and 1 terabyte are compared in this graph. Here are some interesting observations. Dollar per gigabyte goes down gradually from low to high memory capacity. I think components such as SSD controller, HDD motor, and DRAM buffer may play important role at the price structure of low capacity storage devices. The price difference between SSD and HDD is small at low capacity and the difference becomes bigger at high capacity. For high capacity storage devices, price of SSD is saturated at 21 cents per gigabyte and HDD saturates at 4 cents per gigabyte. There are not many SSDs bigger than 2 terabytes in the market. Okay, let's check the price difference as small capacity storage devices. It is certainly mobile application market. The price gap between SSD and HDD is less than twice. 1.4 times at 250 GB and 1.8 times at 500 GB. Considering the better performance of SSD, price of SSD seems very attractive. Let's see the price difference at large capacity storage devices. 21 cents per gigabyte is the lower than the forecast of 24 cents by trend force. So the net price drops down much faster than expected. At one terabyte, which is the most popular memory capacity for desktop computers. The price difference is 3.75 times. For 2 terabyte and higher capacity, the difference becomes 5.1 times. For large capacity storage devices, HDD still keeps much better price compared to SSD. I explained that we could not avoid oversupply of NAND and abrupt price drop of NAND and SSD because heavy investment in 3D NAND. 
Recently, Toshiba and Western Digital announced additional $15 billion investment in 3D NAND. So total investment in 3D NAND already reached $75 billion. It will certainly reconfigure storage market. Even though 3D NAND does not have a clear path to low cost yet, because of oversupply, I expect that the dollar per gigabyte of SSD will drop down to 10 cents within two years. This graph shows the prediction. Yes, price parity may happen at the low capacity market. And SSD may take over HDD because of better functionality and favorable price. In the high capacity market, the, the price difference will remain at 1.7 times to 2.5 times range. Therefore, SSD and HDD will coexist. If some, S, some NAND vendors give up price competition because of oversupply, then price of NAND may bounce back because 3D NAND would be difficult to sustain low cost. For your information, TRC 32-layer 3D NAND SSD products from Samsung and Micron are about 25% to 50% more expensive compared to planar NAND SSD. Even though 3D NAND has more memory cell layers to vertical direction, it won't be easy to reduce cost efficiently. For the ultimate low-cost solution, 3D Super NAND will change the paradigm in the storage market. It will enable SSD price drop down to two cents per gigabyte. It will happen within two years. Then price comparison between SSD and HDD will look like this graph. Regardless memory capacity, 3D Super NAND will provide cost competitive SSD. Certainly, customer, customer will be winner because of the affordable storage devices. Thank you for watching and please leave comments and feel free to share this video.